Welcome back everybody, thanks for tuning in, thanks to everyone that's joined the channel since we last uploaded, if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do. The, today we are heading up towards the zebra pen, because one of the baby zebras, the one that's born at Christmas, Sprout, is due his second tetanus vaccination. Now the safest way to do this is a remote injection with what essentially is a dart and it means that we can inject the animal from a safe distance we haven't got to restrain him for it and we can do it without containing them in any smaller enclosures so i've chosen the lightest dart that we have and loaded it up with the vaccination i've got the shortest needle that we can use on there and the lighter dart flies a lot gentler we won't need to pack it with loads of gas behind it and send it fast because we should be able to get quite a close-up shot to make uh, it nice as gentle as possible and you'll, it'll make him jump it always does but it won't really hurt because we're gonna send it nice and gently an alternative to using the dart might be to restrain him and hand inject him but that is going to be a lot more dangerous for him, a lot more dangerous for the staff and a much longer operation with a lot more stress involved. So this is the nicest way to do it and with a bit of luck and a bit of skill we'll be able to pop it in nice and gently. It'll surprise him, he'll run away and the dart will fall out on the floor and he can go about his day. Okay, so plan A didn't work. The parents recognised the darting equipment very quickly and took off across the field. Now often we do this uh, with them in a smaller area down the bottom um, and just do it as quick as we can. So in the big field they take off and it's not safe to continue. So plan B is so I'm going to walk in on foot quietly and use my position in the field to try and get Sprout into a safe position close enough for me to release that dart and give him his vaccination and then back off and let them join their family because I suspect we will have just him and his mum but we will see and I'm going to attach the camera to the equipment because I need to concentrate on what I'm doing and not what you are seeing so uh, hopefully that will come out okay but that is what we're going to aim for and we'll see what happens.
There we go, Sprout has had his vaccination. That's him protected for another year. Um, I hope you found that interesting. Um, I hope it made sense the way I was trying to explain it. Uh, thanks for everybody who has subscribed since we last uploaded a video. Um, I appreciate that. And if you haven't done that already, it'd be great if you would. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much.